Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be giving you a walkthrough on the Edge panel on the Galaxy Note Edge. So, basically how this works is the Edge panel is off to the side, always on your screen. Uh, essentially, you can use it to go between your screens, but how do you customize them? How do you make this work, really? So, you swipe up from here and you have a little settings button right here. And this takes you to the uh, settings for the edge screen. So first of all, you can manage your panels. From right here, you can actually decide which panels you want to have on. And you can see there's a bit to choose from when you first turn it on. You can also tap here to download more panels as you see, what, as you see fitting. Uh, however, there aren't too many, uh, at least uh, for me, I downloaded all of them. And um, the one kind of nice one I felt was uh, this one, which I haven't got to, which is new. And as you can see, they're adding more. So you can kind of add a task manager, which is kind of cool. Uh, and you can keep downloading more as uh, they come out, which is again, really nice and simple. Um, Express Me is one you can create for yourself, which you can um, you know, create it entirely on your own. So. I'll edit an, a current one I have. So I just have it uh, for the Android guy. You can place different effects on it. So it can do a scrolling effect or it can do a fade effect, which I like a little bit more. You can also choose the style of uh, what text you're going to have or even handwriting. You can uh, handwrite something and then that will be it instead. Nice uh, feature to have. You can even do images. So if you want a different background image, you can have that as well. Information stream will be what happens when you uh, use the notification screen, just swiping it. And I have it set for Yahoo Sports only, and then I can customize which sports teams uh, will go up there. You can also do night clock, which is a very handy feature. So how night clock works is it starts at a certain time, it ends at a certain time, and it will just be a very, very faded clock that continuously stays on. And you, then you can have a personal message, which is used at all times when you're not using it. Uh, so if you're ever on a game or an app uh, that doesn't use the screen, it will just say whatever your personal message is. And then uh, one of the most important features is right here, which is the rotate 180 degrees. This is a very important feature that I would immediately turn on because you will notice that if I'm on the left side, I can use this. I have to be on this side to really use it. So that's a problem. But if I flip it around with the 180 degrees on, I can then use this screen entirely and it really, I don't lose out on anything, which is very important, of course. I can even swipe up here and then hit home button, uh, back button, multi-screen button, and I can do it all from this side. Uh, now, uh, important to note, the phone will actually tell you when you're getting a call, you have to turn it back around simply for the fact that this is the way you have to answer to pick up a call. Your mics are on the bottom and your earpiece is up top. So that is the way you would have to answer it. Now, overall, you can get more help on here, which just kind of walks you through the basic stuff. But uh, one of the main things I did forget to note is just that you can reorder them or uninstall the ones that were not did not come with it. So from here, you can pers uh, get more specifications for it. Uh, and that's just the idea behind um, editing or reordering them. Other than that though, that is going to be uh, the main features for this side panel. Now very few apps and games can use it. Uh, Samsung, uh, when you go to their essentials, they will have a area just for edge specials. So edge specials are where you can get edge panels and future expanded apps. These are the only ones that I've seen so far, but I'm sure Samsung will add more as it comes along. All right, guys, that is the special features for the Note Edge, uh, besides its obvious look and design uh, difference. So hopefully you did like that, and you can always get quick tools right here if you need a little bit more, but that'll be on another video. Thank you for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.